Looking at this camera, what would you tell now people who are against uh, this look-alike, celebrity look-alike? Uh, please, uh, we saw, uh, I can, all I can say is, mm -hmm. uh, Kenya tuko na tabia zetu tu, we major, major song about that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you should just embrace us. There's no other people like us. There's no other country who, 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 which is doing this, you know? So let's just flow with it. Mm -hmm enjoy it and have positive vibes about it you know i believe in positive vibes you know yeah so let's have positive vibes about it embrace us and just give us a chance and see what we have got and there's a song i've released by the if you guys don't know you should go and check it out it's on kipao it's called habarindo here and people have talked about it and they're saying that i'm dissing this look as likes and i'm talking bad about them uh, <laughs> it was if you just listen to the song go listen to that song it's called habari ndo hiyo mm -hmm. if you go and search kenyan vibes cartel at kipawa yeah. you'll hear of that song and three it's three days ago yeah yeah three days ago three days ago right mm -hmm. yeah i released it and uh it's doing quite well and people should go and listen about it get entertained i was entertaining people mm -hmm. yeah 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 habari ndo hiyo What's up guys, welcome to SPM Bars. My name is Shiko Guitar and we are coming to you from SPM Bars Studios and of course with us today. You know we have seen it online, Kenya Hakuna Luka Like Hatuna. So today we are privileged to have Vibes Cartel's Luka Like. I'll give him a chance maybe at Jean introduce Kwenyu. Karibu sana ndani SPM Bars. Asante sana, wagwan, wagwan my people. Mm -hmm. yeah, man. Your name? My name is Don Cartel, uh -huh. aka the Kenyan Vibes Cartel. Kenyan vibes cartel. Yeah, yeah. Uh, probably uh, because a lot of people have um, come to know you after vibes cartel was released from yeah, prison. Yeah, Before, what were you doing? Before, mm -hmm. I was an artist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a musician just like him. Vibes cartel, the vibes cartel from Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been doing Kenyan dancehall mm -hmm. and genge. Mm -hmm. So he's been my role model mm -hmm. and uh i just decided to follow his footsteps from when he started mm -hmm. i followed up his journey mm -hmm. until right now that he has been released it was a very good feeling oh. yeah w what is that one thing that you feel you love so much about a vibes cartel that made you um choose him as your role model first of all he's the king of dancehall mm -hmm. <laughs> and i can i can say for me for me, I can say he's the king of music because mm -hmm. he has done a lot of music mm -hmm. like in all type of genres. Mm -hmm. If you remember R&B, he did a kind of a refix of Ramping Shop, the Miss Independent beat of uh, Neo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you see, he's just the king of music. He has studied music and he's a lyrical genius. Mm -hmm. That's why I decided to like look up to him and follow his footsteps and see what he's he doing different that I can also follow and try and achieve something mm -hmm. for myself. Uh -huh. Yeah. With that said, I don't know, do you have any favorite from Vibes Cartel and are you in a position to maybe uh to skeki dogo? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have many favorites. Uh, okay. Yeah, he's he has a lot of songs. Uh -huh. Like I, I I can't seem to choose which is the favorite, but I have like among my top three I have poor people land mm -hmm. summertime and but poor people land I relate with it so much because uh, having been from the ghetto you know I relate a lot and how these MPs are treating us and just lying to us uh, yeah you can give you, uh, okay okay me can't believe it government won't move me me turn refugee in my own on a country, but a long, long time me live here, so can't go no way. Them really take poor people fi fool. Them really take poor people fi fool. Oh, it's a Babylon. A way I get a system here from. Bulldozers down, poor people down. Ja no seminar vote again, no sir, cause an MP don't give a damn. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, now maybe uh, you've mentioned that you're from ghetto. Yeah, I'm from the ghetto. Where specifically? Lucky Sama, 1125. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's where you've grown up till where you're, you're... Yeah, most of my life I've just, um, like, I've, I've grown Babadogo mm -hmm. and Lucky Sama too. Yeah, but 
I came to know myself in Lucky Summer. Lucky yeah, 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 yeah. And even Gomongo also. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let, let's get to hear from you. Maybe uh, at what age or at what point did you venture into music? I ventured into music while I was young. Like in primary, I remember like singing. Uh, I remember like repeating songs, like uh, doing, like writing lyrics of other artists and trying to sing along with them mm -hmm. and trying to know how this music feels. It was a good feeling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I can say like professionally, I started doing music in 2013. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's what people don't know. Like I really started way back mm -hmm. and it's, uh, it's been quite a journey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with a lot of challenges, being, having been from a humble background. Yeah, and being raised by a single mom, you know, it's not easy. And she didn't have a job until she came and got a job. And she did her part, mm -hmm. just trying to raise me. But she didn't want me to do music, but it was in me. There's nothing like I could have done because I felt good doing music, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's why I found my role model as Vibes Cartel. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I decided to emulate what he's doing. Yeah. Maybe apart from being uh, or rather um, loving music, yeah. what else um, maybe made you now call yourself the Kenyan Vibes Cartel? Okay, uh, I started out as a dancer first in back back then when I was young, mm -hmm. and his songs w were the ones that I was relating much while dancing, because they are dance or they have this rhythmic vibe and, you know, you feel good, it's a feel good song, you know? Yeah, and uh, so, uh, what was your question again? Pardon, I'm sorry. Um, apart from maybe loving music, yeah. what else made you uh, call yourself Kenyan Vibes Cartel? Okay, what people also don't know, like my nickname was, I, I used to call myself Don Africa, AKA Mr. My Vibes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, Mr. My Vibes. Mm -hmm. So, and, I, when he got out of jail, I really felt happy. And the, 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 the scene of just seeing him getting out of the door and uh, we have really waited for this moment, we as the Gaza fans, I can say, like there are other people who are more of a fan to him rather than me, but I can say I'm also a fan, you know? Yeah, and the, the feeling of just seeing him uh, getting out was so iconic and this was the look yeah and i didn't want to do that it's my friends who just chochad me you know <laughs> yeah. uh, they chochad me said the kona kitu mbingine kubwa sana kama ya cartel and pure refu kona what what if you funge bandana and wear all white and uh when the two like you vibe in town and see what happens you know and record yourself or see what happens yeah, because they knew I was a Vibes Cartel fan. Uh -huh. Yeah, and so th th I wanted to show people, like Kenya, how when Vibes Cartel comes in Kenya, this is the type of feeling, this is the feeling you'll receive, you know? Mm -hmm. All these people loving you, and that's what I wanted to show Vibes Cartel. Like, I need him, I need him to come to Kenya, and if he gets to listen to this interview, yo, please, Father, uh, Wagwan, you're the greatest. Please come to Kenya. We really need to see you, mm -hmm. yeah, and see if it's truly you who got out of jail. Cause you know we can't believe it's such a I don't know what I can I can name this feeling. You know, yeah. yeah. So you uh, dressed up, went to town, yeah, recorded a video. Yeah. How's the reception by the people? At first, I used to do videos, uh, but I used to wear only this one bandana, the lower one, mm -hmm. and. Uh, people started referring to me as Kenya Vibes Cartel. Vibes Cartel, Vibes Cartel. Yo, 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 check you. Check Vibes Cartel, no love Peter. And I saw, uh, like, I can own this and let it be mine. And even though there was Rudra Cartel, but mad respect to him. You know, he's a very underrated artist. I know people don't understand how he's doing his lingua in lyric, but... According to me, I can say he's one of the most underrated masterpiece artists we can we have ever had in Kenya, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. No, so apart from Kitambi, mm -hmm. height, na kufunga bandana, so that's all that makes you um, look like Vibes Cartel? Yeah, yeah. I can't deny. When I remove this, mm -hmm. I now my brand comes. Don Cartel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no, like... 
yeah like nine, it's like i can say 50% resemblance of vibes cartel i can't say it's all of it yeah and i just wanted to show people the the feeling we had when he got out and we want to enjoy his songs and we really want to see him perform and getting well mm-hmm. yeah having been his health is now not so good you know but he's going is is working out mm-hmm. and eating right and i know he'll get better we are praying for him for him to get so better and so strong and see him on stage mm-hmm. yeah performing Yeah. Of late you've seen a lot of Kenyans come up. Oh, I look like oh, I look <laughs> like we have seen we have the Kenyan Diamond Platinum, yeah, we have yeah, Kenyan yeah. Ruga, we have yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah. We even have Nikita Kering right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I saw, I saw. Let me ask you um <laughs> because all these people have faced some kind of negativity from people online yeah, people are like you guys are overdoing mm-hmm. no this is too much who fai kudandia brand ya mwingine how does that make you feel and uh, maybe how do you receive such comments you know kila mtu anatafuta unga that's one people that's what what people should know mm-hmm. and it's not easy being down there if you see nikita kering from dandora You, you, he she's in dandora but she's maybe maybe she's going through something you know and if this is the thing or an opportunity that she saw for her to get better in her life you know there is no one who doesn't want good life you know and if she saw that as an opportunity like for me example let me speak for myself i don't like speaking for other people because we are all hustling and looking for something you know and uh for me for example i saw that opportunity and i love vibes cartel and why not why sh- why i i should emulate my idol you know and see if it's something that i can be able to grow as a brand and make something out of myself and even help my family you know mm-hmm. and even yeah 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 don't you think probably that makes you uh, grow as a dependent brand like you're all depending on someone else and not you personally i mean all these big uh, corporates and big brands and all these brands i can't name them but i don't want to market them uh, they have leaned on someone else for them to grow you know and they have You know one thing I also I always follow and I always believe in is being a student in life. Me emulating what Vibes Cartel is doing. Um his student, he's my teacher. That's why he's called Adi teacher. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm emulating what my teacher is teaching me uh-huh. and I'm trying to follow his steps and see if I can only even achieve a quarter of his success, you know. He's been so successful even being in jail and that's what I want to show people like Vibes Cartel is the greatest artist right now we have in the world you know yeah big shout out to you father I really look up to you like that's what people don't know cuz having uh, sold a platinum record a gold record in while still in jail and having uh, looking for ways on how to record his music even though he's locked up you know we saw him explaining how he He, rec- he recorded uh, sorry sorry we saw how he recorded fever he, he, he was explaining how he recorded fever he used to he recorded it in a iphone phone i don't know if it's iphone 5 or what yeah and he explained how he went all through these struggles and giving us good music also so we have no excuse for us who are outside and are looking up to doing music you know Yeah. Looking at this camera, what would you tell now people who are against uh this look like celebrity look like? Uh please uh we so uh, I can all I can say is uh Kenya tuko na tabia zetu to major major song about that. Yeah. yeah, you should just embrace us. There's no other people like us. There's no other country who, who which is doing this, you know. So Let's just flow with it, mm-hmm. enjoy it and uh, have positive vibes about it. You know I believe in positive vibes, you know. Yeah. So let's have positive vibes about it, embrace us and just give us a chance and see what we have got. And there's a song I've released by the if you guys don't know, you should go and check it out. It's on Kipao, it's called Habarindo Hiyo. And people have talked about it and they're saying that I'm dissing this Lucas likes and I'm talking bad about them 
uh, <laughs> it was if you just listen to the song go listen to that song it's called habari ndo hiyo mm-hmm. if you go and search kenyan vibes cartel at kipawa yeah. you'll hear of that song and it's three so, days ago yeah yeah three days ago three days ago right mm-hmm. yeah i released it and uh, it's doing quite well and people should go and listen about it get entertained i was entertaining people mm-hmm. yeah 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 habari ndo hiyo and now maybe how has it been for you mm-hmm. since you recorded your first video mm-hmm. dressed up like vibes cartel yeah. videos went uh, viral online how has it how has life been for you i can't say i've reached yet but uh ever since i ge- i i got saved You know I got saved like uh, I used to not go to church but l- like uh, July on July I don't know if it's three months or two months I say I can say two, two months yeah on July I started going to church and ever since that day like God is the greatest I like I just saw those opening and uh, uh all the receptions people uh, like things were just working out mm-hmm. like the first video that, that got uh, that went viral the person who was recording that video i just knew him from one sunday big shout out to you dixon apollo from kayole imagine giving your your phone to someone that you really don't know that much in nairobi you can imagine that and god made it possible for him to record it well and give it to me and say that i go and edit it and yeah and things just started working out slowly by slowly i trust in god to uh, in this journey Yeah and I know it's gonna bring good yields you know yeah yeah Does this mean you now signed and keep our entertainment Uh not yet but we are still in talks mm-hmm. yeah and if we get to agree mm-hmm. we'll work together mm-hmm. but for now uh, I'm not kind of signed yeah I'm just working alone I need people who believe in me and believe in my music to just hit me up and we just talk and see what we can offer the world mm-hmm. yeah next for you what are you planning uh for now i'm planning to grow my brand in entertainment mm-hmm. i'll i'm an entertainer i'm, I'm, I'm an, ent- an, an entertainer i'm sorry sorry i'm entertain i'm an entertainer mm-hmm. and um i want to i want to make people laugh mm-hmm. i want to make people feel good mm-hmm. i want to help people when my brand grows and if you see my videos on tiktok mm-hmm. There's a certain video I did with uh I don't call them chokoras you know people call them chokoras it's not a good name mm-hmm. they are like kids you know and they are our children and our brothers and sisters mm-hmm. yeah yeah I happened to do a video with them mm-hmm. and uh they were just so happy to see me and I want to give give back to them if I get something mm-hmm. if god blesses me I want to use that platform and create an initiative whereby we can help such people and the vulnerable in also in Lakisama those who really need help you know mm-hmm. yeah that's what i want to do mm-hmm. yeah just like our mca mc we call him mc ringo mm-hmm. yeah he's really doing good to us and uh even uh, to us especially young people mm-hmm. yeah he's uh, he's making Lakisama a better place mm-hmm. young people are now not turning into crime mm-hmm. yeah and yeah He's really doing a good job in supporting us as artists, you know. Yeah. Now, um since Vibes Cartel came out of a uh, uh, prison, of course, we have seen him show Kenyans love and uh people are like probably he might be planning later on mm-hmm. to um do something in Kenya. Yeah. What happens if today Vibes Cartel decides maybe in the next 3, 4, 5 months mm-hmm. he'll be coming to Kenya? What are you planning to do? Oh like we are really waiting for that chance. We are really waiting for that moment. Just him planning for him to come to Kenya. We are really waiting for that moment. It will be such an iconic. And I, I I'm seeing Ugandans really pushing yeah. him he, they want him to first come to Uganda before Kenya and that's what I don't want. Like it's not a bad jealousy i just want him to come to kenya first like the first ant- country in africa that i want him to step foot in and show us how he is and how kingly he is you know i want it to be kenya that's why i'm pushing this i'm pushing this brand i'm pushing vibes cartel and th- i just want to see him first in kenya so that he can go to other african countries no i'm not speaking like of or something yeah 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 all right so uh given a chance to meet him 
What will you tell him? Uh, I can hey, I don't know like I can hey, I can be so confused. I don't know. I have a lot of things to say like I I I hey, I, I, I just, first i want a portrait with him like many things yeah 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 and yeah just just, just a lot of things yeah. yeah looking at this camera maybe you can give us your social media platforms as mm -hmm. we wind uh on tiktok you can find me at kenyan vibes cartel or don cartel mm -hmm. on instagram you can find me at kenyan vibes cartel mm -hmm. or don cartel also mm -hmm. on twitter at kenyan vibes cartel or uh, Don Cartel on Facebook, uh, Don Cartel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, please follow, follow me up. You're not ready for me. I'm here to entertain you and give you more music, more feeling good, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, right there, the Kenyan Vibes Cartel. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. Until next time, you can find us on all platforms at SPM Buzz KE. Find me too at I underscore I'm Shiko Guitar across all social media platforms. Yeah, but, but, but.